I'm Peter Riley. I'm the Managing Director of Locator Housing Services. Locator has invested heavily in the next generation of its software as a service solution. We have focused on delivering a business user interface that doesn't need any corporate IT resources to support its use. This means that we've moved our attention to the local authority frontline users and delivered an intuitive interface so they can design, build and deliver their own workflows. This will ensure that their customer outcomes are delivered directly through the workflows designed by them. Gone are the days of compromising to get the closest fit for the delivery of your services. With Locator, you can easily get what you want by using the task system to implement, configure and create your own self-built workflows. To do this, you simply use our innovative process. So to start managing our workflow, we have to set up a task group. To do that, we go to settings, we go to tasks and questions, and we go to cases. From task groups, we can see we've got an add button. We just click add. We put in our field, add customer contacts. Leave the all partner setting as no, and we simply click save. So having had added our task groups, we're going to add task type. So what we do here is we can add existing from anything we've created before, or we can add new. So we click add new on task type. We can go down here and put in call contacts. Um, we'll put in one day to complete. Um, we'll put in 10 for the sequence, which means that's where it appears in the list of uh, task types. Um, we want it editable um, and we're going to set it up so that it's a repeatable task so you can put in a number of contacts and it really is that simple. Um, so we're going to save that. Um, it gives us a bit of warning and so we're going to do that and we can see that our call contacts has been saved as a task type. That gives us the ability to put in any number of contacts we like for that case. Have our task types set up um, we're going to fill in our questions so here we're going to add a new question it's going to be the call contact name so i'm going to call it ccn01 uh, call contact name um, we can put in a report name if different i'm not going to do that and i want this to be number 10 and the type is text because we're going to be putting in someone's name. Um, we don't want it to appear in the summary on the main page. And so we're going to just create that and that will create a field and give us a call contact name. Um, we'll just move on from there and we're going to add another question. Um, this is going to be the call contact mobile. So here we go. We're going to add another new one. And this is going to be call contact MB01. Um, and it's the call contact mobile number. And we're going to put that in as text. Um, we could put it in as a, a different type of thing, but uh, text is good for our purposes. Um, we're going to put it in sequence as 20, so it appears below the other one. And we're going to create that. And as you can see, that's gone in. And I'm just going to add one final one uh, for this demonstration. And it's going to be call contact mail because we want people to put in their email addresses. So call contact mail. Um, again, 30. Again, I'm going to use text. Um, if you see on this list, you can use attributes, which will give you drop downs. You can put in numbers, dates or yes, no. Um, but for our purposes, we want to put in that. So we've now created a task group with call contact, call contacts, call contact name, mobile number and mail. And from there, we can move on to set up some completion rules. For the final piece of the puzzle, um, we're going to set a reminder to add new contacts. Um, just put me new N in there. Um, and we're going to create a task group so that if we want somebody to add new uh, 
contacts will use the same task group. And the task group we're going to add is add call contacts. So there we go. The rule's been created successfully and it will remind staff to put in any new contacts if there are any. And that's it. That new workflow process has been added. It will go live. Um, if we look on the dashboard for people and we look at my cases, we go to active cases, choose a test person. We can quite simply see on the triage if we open up add new thing. The thing we can add is call contact and that goes in. Job done. The opening up of our solution to let our customers utilize our workflow software is unique in its approach to delivering services direct to the business end user. We are currently using this approach to design all our new modules and software. HPA2 homelessness, temporary accommodation and rent accounting, third party and housing related support and private sector housing. We are also moving our choice based letting software over to the new platform and will be labelled as part of our new platform's overall letting solution. This means that you'll be able to take control of your own approach in designing outcomes for customers using your own unique approach. You can tailor your own solution, design your own workflow processes, build the workflow using task questions, trigger your own responses using completion rules. With completion rules, you can respond to customers with email, SMS or letter. Also, the completion rules enable you to set reminders, send notifications or appointments, manage your own outcomes for customers, track your cases, customers or outcomes. If you want to continue as is, then do so. However, if you really want to take control of your software solution and make meaningful changes to the way you work, then if you do, get in touch with Locator Housing Services. Creating your own processes will bring real returns to the effort you put into it. This will, through the efficient, focused and individual delivery, give your customers the outcomes they deserve. Please contact us for more information at info at locator.org.uk.